SharePoint Server 2010 provides a very powerful reporting, dashboarding and analysis layer to a Microsoft BI solution using Performance Point services and SQL reporting services and analysis services. But sometimes that's overkill. Here I have a team site with a project task list. I want to have a simple indicator to let me know the status of these tasks. Building a report in reporting services or a performance point dashboard would be too much for this straightforward need. So I can use the basic SharePoint Server BI features without going to those lengths. I've created a status list in this site, which I've called KPIs. I'll add a new item to this list to measure my tasks. I'll call this Tasks Completed. Now I'll add a list to be measured. I want to know the status of my tasks, so I'll choose my project task list. Next, I need to know what information I'm measuring. For this, I want an indicator icon to show the status of tasks based on what percentage have been completed. I'll click this percentage option and then choose that the percentage complete column should be equal to 100. Next, I need to set what a good and a bad range for my figures will be. In this example, I'll say that the icon should turn green when 95% of the tasks are completed and should be amber when 80% are completed. That's how easy it is to design an indicator. I could just as easily create other indicators for this project based on the total number of items in an issues list or based on a budget value stored in a SharePoint list, or other information that's stored within this SharePoint site. Once I've created my list of indicators, I may want to display them on my team site. I'll go back to the main page of the team site, and I'll choose to edit this page. I want to insert a web part. There are two ways to insert my indicator list. The first instinct might be to just choose the list from this list and library section, but that won't display my indicator icons. Instead, I'll go to the business data category and select status list. Now I need to edit this web part so that I can select the appropriate list. From the list options, I choose my KPI list. Once I've chosen my list, all I have to do is click OK. I'll stop editing now because my indicator icons are displayed on my page next to my project task list as required.